Happy Thursday everybody and it's Throwback Thursday and today I am reviewing Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Now this movie stars Matthew Broderick, Alan Rook, Matthew Broderick plays Ferris, Alan Rook plays Cameron, Mia Sarah plays Sloan Peterson, Ferris's love interest. And in this movie, a kid outsmarts his parents and his principal as a high school senior by f making up an illness so he can just have a day off. And I don't know about you, but when I was in high school, I could deserve a day off or two. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, on with the review. This movie is a 1986 comedy play, and it stars them, what I just said, and... He just wants to have a day off with his friends and with his best friend and his girlfriend before they go off. They go off to college and stuff. So the movie starts out with the mom going up to the Ferris's room, discovering that he's sick, and the daughter's not buying. His sister Janie's not buying that at all. And so he fakes out the parents. The daughter goes to school, but she has a vengeance. And it's sort of he sort of breaks the fourth wall in this movie. But fourth wall, if you don't know what a fourth wall is, it's whenever some it's whenever an actor or an actress talks to the camera like I'm talking to you guys right now. So as the day goes on, he's having some fun. He gets his friend Cameron. He gets to get his dad's car, which is a G a a Mustang GT that his dad doesn't even drive. He just wipes it with a diaper. And Ferris says, man with priorities like that doesn't deserve a fine automobile. And so the day goes on. They have a good time in Chicago. He has a fancy restaurant where he gets in a, where he says he's A from in the Sausage King of Chicago. It's a pretty good movie. And as the movie's going on, Cameron's like, he says, what have you done today? Nothing good. Nothing good. Nothing good. We went to restaurants. We went to museums. We ate pancreas. Nothing good. And then Ferris escapes for a little bit. Leading to this, um, leading to this parade. And some sort of pride parade or something. They were shooting in Chicago. And then he sings. Shake it on baby now, shake it on baby, twist and shout, twist and shout. He's singing that song. They have a good day. Cameron finds out that the car, he's dead because his dad's going to find out that they took the car out. And then they decide to run it backwards. Then Cameron starts, starts to go berserk saying, my dad, we're going to have a little chat. And Ferris, I don't need you to back fighting the battles anymore we're gonna have a little chat he, he's kicking he's kicking he's he's kicking the car as they're trying to bring the car in reverse to take off the miles he's kicking the car he kicks the car so hard that it goes flying out of his dad's garage flying backwards and he killed the car and then Cameron decides that he's gotta stand up to that he's gotta stand up to his dad and become a man and then Ferris and Sloan, they kiss goodbye. Ferris, he find, he sees the six o'clock and he says, I gotta get home. And so he's running home and Sloan, her last line in the movie, he's gonna marry me. And if you don't, and if you don't know what, who Fer, that guy right there with the glasses is Ferris, the guy in the driver's seat, his friend in the back seat's Cameron. And his girlfriend is Sloan and so he while all this is going on the principal is trying to bust Ferris and Ferris is running he's running he's running through all these streets and he's going through people's houses he's running down he looks beside him he sees his dad coming home and so he runs on another street he gets home just in time but his principal busts him and his principal said, How would you like to have another year of high school under my close supervision? Ooh, Ed Rooney. 
Principal Ed Rooney. That's the principal's name, Ed Rooney. I would just like to have that at the high school. So, Janie d decides to save Ferris. Ferris gets home and he saves the day. And he's off to have another day of fun. And he closes with this line. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you can miss it. And as the credits are rolling, you see a uh, Mr. Rooney walking down the side of the road with a leg chewed up because he got in a scuffle with Ferris's dog, which is a rot roller. And at the end, Ferris looks in the bathroom and he says, You're still here? It's over. Go home. Walk down. Heard that. Go. And that's my review of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I give this movie a 5 out of 5. And if you haven't seen it yet, and for the younger audience out there, check it out. It's a pretty good movie. What other movies should I review on Throwback Thursday? M review. It can be any movie made before the year 2010. So comment below, and I'll catch up guys next time. Peace.